The Mariana Trench is the private location on Earth. It's far determined within the Pacific Ocean and is going down seven miles. The Earth, which is four fifth billion years old, maintains changing and unexpected positions. Continents flow, volcanoes explode, and glaciers develop and soften, creating exceptional landscapes. What hidden truths does this deep, darkish vicinity hold? Join us to find out extra approximately the captivating details of the Mariana Trench and what lies under the ocean. Uncovering the ocean's hidden depths, exploring the Mariana Trench, is like diving into the private elements of our planet's oceans. This location isn't always just deep, it's fascinatingly complicated with scientists going through intense, demanding situations as they descend into those dark waters. They're like detectives seeking to determine out what powerful herbal forces have shaped this underwater globe art. Down there, they have got located superb attractions like erupting underwater mountains, extraordinary dust volcanoes, and the Earth's biggest geological feature. The things they examine from this specific underwater location ought to in reality change our understanding of the way the Earth itself is shaped and reshaped over the years. Tucked away in the western Pacific, the Mariana Trench is the private spot in all the international's oceans. The quest to understand how this deep scar within the Earth's crust got here to be and how it continues affecting our planet commenced way lower back in 1872. That's while a British ship, the HMS Challenger, embarked on a groundbreaking challenge to map the ocean floor. Before this, people thought that when you went deep sufficient, the sea changed into only a flat, uninteresting dead area. They clearly failed to anticipate to discover anything interesting. The Challenger and its group spent four years crowsing approximately 700, zero, zero miles. That's nearly a third of the manor to the moon. Every 140 miles, they would degree the depth the use of a massive amount of rope, 249 miles of it, and plenty of lead weights. It become hard, grueling work. But back then, that changed into the best way to figure out how deep the ocean turned into. When they reached a gap in the Western Pacific, 200 miles from the island of Guam, they kept lowering their measuring rope, looking forward to it to hit the bottom quickly. But to their surprise, it simply saved going and going. It turned into a massive surprise. No one had concept the sea can be this deep. When the load subsequently hit the bottom at 4,575 fathoms, nearly five miles down, it spread out a ton of questions. What had they located? Was it a small dip, a huge hollow, or something else? Finding this spot made each person truly curious approximately what else turned into down there. This journey, by using the Challenger, is taken into consideration the start of modern-day oceanography. It gave us the first hard map of the ocean ground, displaying how it slopes far away from the land after which drops off into good-sized flat plains. But the Western Pacific became exclusive. Here the floor takes a surprising dive into a five-mile deep trench, completely upending the antique idea that the seafloor changed into flat and uneventful. It might be every other 75 years earlier that we'd begin to get some solutions. That's whilst a brand new system known as sonar came into play, taking our exploration to an entire new stage. Sonar started as a way to discover submarines all through the early 1900s, and were given virtually accurate via the 1940s. It works through sending out sound waves underwater. These waves soar off matters and come lower back, and via timing those echoes, scientists can get a clear image of what's underneath the floor. Using sonar became out to be plenty simpler and inexpensive than having a group of sailors pull on ropes. In 1951, a British naval deliverer with this fancy new sonar gear went again to that deep spot the Challenger had located. The consequences had been top-notch. They made certain maps with sonar and found that what they idea become a whole become clearly part of a massive trench 30 times deeper than the Empire State Building is tall. This trench stretches over 1,500 miles, about two times the period of California, from southeast of Guam to northwest of the Mariana Islands. People had been possibly amazed via what they saw. The ocean floor wasn't just flat, it was full of mountains and valleys. To a geologist, this changed into top-notch interesting. The trench itself had such a lot of differences. At its southern stop, it drops down another two miles to its lowest point, a thoughts blowing seven miles under the ocean's floor. Scientists have determined the deepest spot inside the ocean, which continues to be the lowest recognized factor on Earth today. They named this deep spot the Challenger Deep, in honor of the ship that first observed it. To genuinely hold close how deep this a part of the trench is, consider if you positioned Mount Everest down there. 
you would nevertheless have about a mile of water above you earlier than you even begin to see the floor of the ocean. However, how exactly the Mariana Trench got here to be became uncertain. Researchers figured the best manner to analyze greater became to head down and take a look at out the Challenger Deep themselves. But this wasn't going to be smooth. At the bottom of the ditch, the pressure is so sizable, it's like having the load of 50 huge airplanes urging down on you from each aspect. Next, we explore a historic and bold project that marked a milestone in underwater exploration. Extreme pressure of the deep sea. To show what this sort of strain does, scientists did a test with a styrofoam head. They're making plans to position the sort of heads, which can be commonly used for displaying wigs, into a stress chamber to simulate the deep ocean conditions of the Mariana Trench. This is ready 16.0 kilos per square inch. If it had been an actual human head, it'd be absolutely crushed. Instead, the styrofoam head compresses, shrinking drastically. It's pretty a sight. To provide you with an idea, they evaluate it to the original size, and it's a huge difference. It actually shows how extreme the stress is down there, and it's an awesome component people aren't subjected to that surroundings. Protecting human beings from such excessive situations posed a actual project to the engineers. Back in 1953, a Swiss scientist named August Picard designed the Trieste, a deep sea submersible able to dive withstanding those crushing depths. The Trieste had a long 50-foot hull packed with mild aviation gasoline and lead weights to assist it live balanced underwater. Beneath this, there was a small spherical cabin, simply six zips throughout, with thick steel walls designed to hold the intense pressure out. After seven years of tweaking and checking out, consisting of numerous manned dives that went no deeper than three and one slash two miles, the Trieste changed into sooner or later prepared to make the overall seven mile descent to the bottom of the ditch. The guy and fee of this bold feat changed into a US Navy Lieutenant named Don Walsh, an experienced deep sea explorer. This assignment become kept beneath wraps because handiest some pinnacle officials knew approximately it kicked off in January 1960 from the island of Guam, which became pretty remote lower back then, just the proper spot for an extremely low-key, however volatile project like this, because the Navy clearly didn't want any public embarrassment if matters didn't move as planned. Accompanying Walsh on this historic descent becomes Jacques Picard, the son of the Triestis dressmaker. Jacques and their dressmaker had been filled into a tiny, bloodless sphere, no longer an awful lot larger inner than a big household refrigerator, for approximately nine hours. They had been putting off to discover one of the most remote and difficult locations in the world, the Mariana Trench. Their gradual descent into the deep commenced at a pace of just three miles according to hour. As they went deeper, around three, zero toes down, they were enveloped in entire darkness, the sun's mild unable to reach them. The handiest resources of mild had been the Trieste's effective lamps, and sometimes flashes of light from sea creatures that produce their own glow, like underwater fireflies. This experience become greater than a technical mission. It became an epic plunge into one in every of Earth's final frontiers. Inside their stable metallic sphere, Walsh and Bacard sailed past their preceding private dive of 1-800-0 feet without a hitch. It regarded everything turned into going in, keeping with plan. They had been nicely included behind their cabin through layers of glass. But around hours into their dive, a unexpected loud bang startled them. The outer glass layer had just cracked. Now, they had been around 200, zero, zero toes underwater and fast checking over their tools in the cabin. Their small capsule, designed to aid life below extreme conditions, became now underneath even greater strain, dealing with a large eight tons of pressure according to square inch. With the outer glass long gone, handy as one layer stood among them in a deadly ocean overwhelm. The situation was important. A breach inside the internal glass might suggest on-the-spot demise. Miraculously, it held, and the two determined to brave the depths further. As they endured their descent for almost five greater hours, anxious and alert inside the cramped space of their cabin, they neared the very bottom of the trench. Just when they thought they'd seen all of it, something moved on the ocean ground. A flatfish, approximately a foot long. Seeing a fish at this exquisite intensity changed into sudden and captivating. It confirmed they'd reached their vacation spot, the lowest part of the Mariana Trench. The depth gauge read three, five, eight, zero, zero feet, almost seven miles beneath the ocean's surface, 
aligning flawlessly with the sonar records. Now we uncover the formation of this huge trench and the geologic forces at play. The record-breaking deep sea dive here thus far from the Earth's floor, they took a moment to seize a self-portrait commemorating their historical success. Yet their task turned into no longer just to attain this point, however, to study and file the ditch's particular capabilities. Unfortunately, their submersible kicked up a cloud of excellent sediment, making it almost impossible to see something. It felt like being inside a bowl of milk. Visibility was that terrible. Realizing they couldn't hold their observational desires, they made the selection to move return to the floor. After a grueling nine-hour stint below the ocean, the Trieste emerged off the coast of Guam on January 23, 1960. Walsh and Picard had not best survived, however, also set a record for the innermost man dive, a report that stays unbeaten. This dive was an underrific feat of human courage and technological prowess, marking a substantial milestone in oceanic exploration. However, their successful dive left many questions, approximately how this kind of huge trench had fashioned. If they couldn't discover the solutions deep in the trench itself, they had want to appearance somewhere else. During the 50s and 60s, underneath the steering of Princeton's Harry Hess, a team of geologists began to acquire and analyze sonar statistics from oceans around the world. They meticulously mapped the ocean ground, revealing that the Mariana Trench turned into part of an extensive community of underwater canyons that spanned the globe. 